Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about front-end development and knowing about Node.js. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, how much does a front-end developer need to know about back-end Node.js? What topics are important? Please help me or share any insights that you have. Well, I'm happy to do so. And I want you to know that me doing this is not the first time. And this is getting to the point where I'm starting to think that me answering anything, anything related to what should a front end developer learn is it's tantamount to self harm. You're basically right now asking me to cut myself. That's what you're asking me to do. And I will, because I like it. So, uh, the reason why I'm being so dramatic about this is because whenever I explain what a front-end developer needs to know, and in this case it's actually re about Node.js, and people have asked me much more generic questions than this, like what do you need to know? I always end up saying the same damn thing, and I always end up with some like uh, someone who really has no knowledge whatsoever about what the majority of job requirements are asking for in a front-end developer and they, 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 they pretend as if the only thing that matters to a front-end developer is the UI and that's not true it's not true if you're a web designer yes then it's true then you can sit every single day without having to know anything about system architecture or how the backend APIs work or anything like that because you can sit there all the live long day and go between your artboards in something like Photoshop and then you can go over to your static HTML page and make some colors pretty and you can add some CSS and you can make everything absolutely beautiful but that's not what the majority of the companies are looking for when they say front-end developer. And it doesn't matter what you feel about that. It doesn't matter if the term front-end developer can mean more. This is what the norm is. The, this is what we call them, even if it's not correct. And the norm is that they literally want you to know practically everything related to Node.js and the surrounding ecosystem. That is the norm. That is what the vast majority of companies are looking for in a uh, front-end developer. So that means that you will need to know all the things about SBA, CSS, HTML, all of that good stuff. In terms of back-end work, you actually need to know what Node.js is. You need to know what NPM is. You need to know how these packages and all this good stuff work. You need to know how to set up a basic Express server. There are many others out there. Express is just one of the most popular ones, if not the most popular one doesn't make it the only choice but it is probably one of the better bets and then you will have to know how to set up a REST API because your little front-end application won't do shit if there's no data and if you are not able to figure out how to get that data on there and well then you're not going to have much in, uh, an application practically you're going to have a static website which is perfect as i said if you're a web designer or someone who wants to hard code some basic text into an html page and just put that in like a cdn or some static file bucket good you're done now you can be a and i mean this is some this is saying something now you can be a low end freelancer because that is the the thing that we're describing there is the most basic form of doing anything that is even remotely to professional work and that is to build a static website you can make a very nice one can look absolutely amazing but it is not good enough for most professional grade software developer roles as when we talk about front end and the other part of, part of this is that if you don't even know how the web works, if you don't know what a server is and you don't know what a REST API is or like how HTTP works or anything like that, you will not be able 
practically to work effectively with any type of backend developer or to work on anything meaningful in, in any story. Everything's just going to be a big black box for you on what's happening on the server. You won't even know how your goddamn files get to the browser. You need to know this stuff. I am sorry if somebody told you that the only thing you have to care about are pretty colors and HTML. It's not true. It's not even remotely true. If you are looking for that sort of work, go and be a designer. Because I'm very sorry to say, IT has hijacked the front end term to basically mean that. And if you want to check my facts, please go and have a look at the job postings. And ma the majority of them will focus something that I think is very telling for the argument that I make. They're going to focus on coding skills. If it was about designing UX, then they would be focusing on those skills, but they don't. Usually the focus is learning uh, that the candidate knows things such as SVA, CSS, HTML, and a range of other tools. And I promise you that you will go to more than one job interview for a front-end position and they're going to show you a back-end system built in Node or something like that. They, will, they, they won't even consider that yeah you're supposed to be a front-end developer and that's mostly UI right it's not it, it's not that clean cut the n closest thing I can give you to the truth that is going to be the universal truth sometimes it's not going to be exactly the, the thing that we're that's that's going on in the company and in many cases it's going to be the absolute truth is that a front-end developer practically needs to know at the very least the basics of back-end work in Node.js in order to do their job. You are practically expected to be a, call it a very light version of a full stack developer because some people seem to believe that, well, oh, you know how to make an HTML get, get request to a server. You're back, you, uh, that means that you're a full stack developer. <laughs> no, no, it doesn't mean that. It means that you are a front end developer who knows how the basics of the web works. It's a very, very different thing. And it's the minimum requirement for you almost always in order to work effectively as a front-end developer. So what I want you to take away from this is that the things that the front-end developer needs to know about Node.js is what is it, what is NPM, how does the ecosystem work, what are the basics of building, setting up a server in something like Express, for example. How can can you build a REST API? Can you serve up your SBA type of application and actually get some data to that SBA? These are the bare bone basics. You don't have to go farther than that. And I promise you, I promise you that there is a massive amount of more stuff to learn before you need to you, you start telling me that, Frederick, this means that I'm a full stack developer. No, it doesn't mean that you're a full stack developer. It, it, it's like you saying that if you know how to make a bash script, you are a pro, you, that you're a software developer. It's worlds, there's a world of difference in terms of how much you need to know before you can with good conscience call yourself a backend developer. This is just hygiene, this is like you being a carpenter and knowing how to use a hammer. This is how the internet works. Have a great day.